how refreshing for you is uh, another double double uh, performance and what it means this win especially with the way that you won tonight um i think the team is continuing to come together uh, we're on the right path right now we got a lot of momentum um playing good inspired basketball uh the chemistry is increasing with each game i think we get better with each game um We're finding that flow within our team. So uh, I think it's coming together at the right time. Christy Reichen. DeMarcus, after uh, seeing what John Wall's been through over the past uh, couple of years, what is it like for you to see him tonight playing against his former team and having such a good game? I don't expect anything less. Um, I've been knowing this guy a long time. and uh, I've seen his approach to big games and, and games that you know have some type of importance to him. So, uh, I've seen him perform every time at a high level. So, uh, like I said, I don't expect anything less. Tim McMahon. Hey, DeMarcus, what was your uh, what was your take on that little interaction between Russ and uh, and, and John Wall that led to the double T's? Um, that's nothing. Um, just two competitors. Uh, trash talking is a part of the game. As much as they don't want it to be, it is. Um, just, just two guys with, you know, a lot of passion behind their craft, um, speaking their minds. So nothing more, nothing less. Two alphas. Ryan Bearfield. Well, Marcus, who can you, uh, attribute the concentrated effort on the three point uh, defense that you all have? This is the second game in a row you've had, you all have held an opponent to under 20% shooting from the three point line. Uh, ask that question one more time. I'm sorry. I, I was just asking, who do you all attribute this to? Who on the coaching staff has taken the, the effort to sh um, for you all to play better three-point defense? You gave a 46% in Detroit, but against Dallas and tonight, y'all y'all held them to under 20%. Um, I credit the entire coaching staff. Uh, they, they've been very detailed on the areas we need to improve in. And um, – And just the guys in the locker room's willingness to, you know, correct those mistakes. It's a combination, but uh, credit to the entire coaching staff. I think they've done an incredible job all year with preparing us. So, uh, um, like I said, I think things are just coming together at the right time. Ali Kambajani. Hey, Demarcus, uh, last three games you've been starting, your numbers have increased. Uh, playing time obviously is there as well, but what do you attribute to this, you know, improvement in, in your play in terms of, Scoring output, three-point shooting, and defense. Um, confidence. Um, confidence is so important. It's so important in this game. Um, you can go train for hours and hours and hours. If you don't have the confidence to back that train, it's damn near pointless. So, um, you know, my confidence is increasing. Um, I'm getting my legs underneath me. I'm believing in my abilities to go out there and, you know, do certain things. I'm believing in my body to – you know, carry the load. So uh, it's just a combination of things that or, or hurdles. I, I feel like I had to, you know, get over the – or mental hurdles I had to get over to, you know, perform at a certain level. So uh, and, and how does I'm this – I wouldn't say I'm completely there yet, but uh, I'm definitely on the right path. How does this help you when Christian comes back and, you know, when he starts back up again and you have to come off the bench? Does, does this run help you in that regard? Um. I don't know. Um, we'll see how that you know scenario plays out. But um, all I can do is be ready when my name is called, and uh, that's what I plan on doing.